Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the Old School Picker. I went back to my guy on a private pick the other day, spent $500. I'm going to show you guys what I bought, and you tell me if I spent too much. Stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the reselling shop. I am Chris the Old School Picker. We do have some orders going out today for sure. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys some a private pick that I went to the other day, the stuff I bought at it. You guys kind of tell me I spent too much. I think I, I spent more than I'd like to. I'll put it that way for the amount of stuff I got. But some of the stuff I got is going to be really, really good. Um, I'm gonna make good money on it. I think I'll at least, at least triple up maybe a little more but in order to get good stuff in order to buy from a reseller because this guy buys to resell as well you kind of got to pay up a little bit i think it's going to work out because it's not far from my house at all and instead of driving all over the city or the county finding this stuff that would have took me months to find you know i go a few minutes from my house and it's all right there, so I don't care to pay up for it a little bit. First, we're going to get started pulling some orders. I've got a lot of sh work to do in the shop. Uh, still got a mess from the last whatnot auction. Um, to be honest, to be perfectly honest with you guys, I've not been out here in a couple of days because I have been laid up sick. <laughs> I've been laid up sick. If you guys watched the last whatnot auction, you could tell I was under the weather. I've had major, major allergy issues going on. I've been to the doctor twice in the last month and finally starting to feel a little better. My ear has been stopped up. My right ear has been stopped up for over a month, over a month, uh, and it's still stopped up, but I am feeling better than I did the last couple of days. I've been taking medicine and just laying around the last couple of days, so not much work going on in the shop. And my sales reflect that as well, because we don't have a ton going out today. But we do have a few, so we're going to go ahead and get started pulling those. And then I'll show you guys the haul I bought from the Private Pick. I'm pretty excited about some of the stuff, for sure. I did go on it, uh, the Private Pick uh, when I wasn't feeling well, <laughs> just because when he calls, you got to go, right? That's part of the deal. Just like this shipping, just like pulling these orders. It's time for these orders to go out. Don't matter how you feel, they got to go out, right? Monogram 2255 model kit. Uh, this is a 1956 Chevy Custom. I had a 1955, I still got it, I think. Yeah. And the 1956 as well. Well, this one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. This came from the private pick from the guy the first time I went. So 25 bucks plus shipping. Good deal. All right, next add on a six, a six. It's on our good friend Darth Thrifter Shelf over on eBay. Everybody go check out his eBay store and see what he has for sale. Darth Thrifter. And I sold some little cheap Barbie accessories, but I love selling this type of stuff. Take me a minute to find it though. Me and Caleb are also getting ready here in a couple of hours to record another episode of Two Old Guys Reselling Podcast. If you guys have not checked out the Two Old Guys Reselling Podcast, we still need a lot of help over there to get monetized. We are trying to get that channel monetized. So if you have not checked it out, please pause this video. <laughs> pause this video. Open up another window on your computer or your uh, phone or YouTube, whatever you're watching this on, and type in Two Old Guys Reselling Podcast. The link for it will be down below. Go over there and subscribe. We sure would appreciate it. We need a lot of help over there still. Anyways, vintage Barbie or Ken tennis rackets. A lot of two tennis rackets for Barbie or Ken dolls, right? And uh, yeah, I took a lot of this stuff off and lugged it up to put on whatnot future whatnot auctions i did leave some of it up just because i don't know you know who's gonna want that in a whatnot auction right it'd have to be a specific buyer for that right anyway so i left them on ebay and they did sell for 
99 push it i have been out here this morning uh working a little bit and i have been watching another whatnot auction i am addicted to watching these storage unit buyer whatnot auctions this is dio's treasure d-i-o-s treasures and they just recently bought a 10 by 30 storage unit and they're selling stuff straight out of the storage unit and man it's loaded with good stuff i'm addicted to watching those type of auctions on whatnot b9 b9 because you never know what's going to be in there it's literally a modern day treasure hunt i used to clean out storage units back in the day and watching these auctions makes me want to get back into it anyways next item is on our good friend max's shelf over on youtube fast talking flipper go check out his youtube channel fast talking flipper and make sure to tell him osp sent you anyways it's this carolina panthers jacket now this is a very good jacket very good jacket however it's not in great shape it is a nutmeg jacket if you see nutmeg stuff it's usually pretty good carolina panthers uh i mean it's okay the person i bought it from was a smoker so i washed it got a lot of the smoke smell off uh, it's missing the hood it has a pretty big tear yeah pretty big tear in the inside pocket if you can see that um so it's not like minty <laughs> uh if it was in better shape you're talking probably 70 80 dollar jacket i had it listed i think for 50 i think 49.99 plus shipping somebody sent me an offer the other day for like 10 bucks for it and i was like no i'll throw it in the garbage for that uh normally i would have passed on this because it wasn't in great shape but at the yard sale i bought it from it was a dollar it was a dollar <laughs> it's like i have to save this thing for a dollar so the uh, uh yesterday i guess or this morning maybe uh someone sent me another offer on it different person for 30 bucks plus shipping and i was like you know what it's not in great shape i paid a dollar for it sales have been a little slow lately 30 bucks sounds like a pretty decent deal for a dollar jacket so i bought it so 30 bucks plus shipping good deal all right next item b11 and this is on our good friend family force resale over on ebay they actually do whatnot auctions too i popped in there the other day and i don't think they even noticed me in there which is fine you know i'm not nobody but i did pop in your guys whatnot auction the other day and uh looked like you were doing fairly good so that's good but uh kathy a viewer a friend adoptive family member sent me all these fat quarter club uh fat quarters that's what they're called fat quarters pieces of fabric right and i actually sold two of them i have been sending out offers on them cheaper than what i had them listed for because i think i just had them listed too much for too much and uh i've sold two of them i had watchers on two of them so i've been sending i had them listed for 29.99 plus shipping i sent offers on them for 20 bucks plus shipping and both accepted so i think that's about what they're worth 20 bucks right well the first one going out is january of 2022 this is easter parade so that one sold for 19.99 plus shipping and the other one is and it's 12 piece bundles of fat quarters and fat quarters is just the size of a piece of fabric to my knowledge right i think that's right anyways this one is september of 2021 sincerely yours and i took a best offer on it or sent a best offer for 20 bucks plus shipping so thank you again kathy she messaged or uh, commented here a while back the fabric wasn't good uh, she won't send me no more and i was like i think i just have it uh listed too high so because i don't know these were hard to find they are fat quarter shop and they're kind of like a subscription service type deal i think and they were extremely hard to find on ebay so i didn't know what they were worth honestly so i just listed them for 30 and uh they wasn't selling too good but i think 20 bucks is the magic number which is good so i'm happy with that so thank you again kathy for sending me this stuff and uh i knew they'd sell i just 
sometimes I got to get my prices right, right? And uh, I had no idea what they were worth. Believe it or not, I don't know much about uh, quilt or not quilting, but fabric and that type of stuff. So crafts in general, honestly. But anyway, so thank you, Kathy. I sure do appreciate you. All right, next item, K9. It's on our good friend Armando Perez's shelf. So Armando, I sure do appreciate your membership, buddy. Uh, thank you so much. And it is a ball glove. Uh, last time I listed, I did list several ball gloves. And this is a Louisville Slugger Zephyr, I think is how you say that, Zephyr. Z-R-B-K-5, Z-R-B-K-5. Yes, Zephyr series. And this one, uh, in decent shape. I mean, it's still got plenty of life left for sure. It's not like, actually, I like my gloves very broken. The webbing needs tightened up, in my opinion. I used to play a lot of uh, softball and stuff when I was in my twenties. And anyways, this one sub for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. Good deal. It's Kathy time. Uh, G two one. Kathy, a viewer, the same person that sent me all the fabric, sent me all this crafting, stamping up stuff. Let's see, budding blooms. I think is the name of what I'm looking for. Budding blooms, right there. So thank you again, Kathy. Stamping up cut and emboss dies. I love selling these die sets. They are usually really good. And uh, yeah, budding blooms, budding blooms dies. And this one sub for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. So thank you again, Kathy. All right. So I'm going to show you guys the stuff I bought, or yeah, the stuff I bought for five hundred bucks for all of it. And you guys kind of let me know how I did. First thing I want to show is this guy right here because he was actually by far and away my favorite. He is a Disney, sco Disney store exclusive Marvin the Martian statue. Uh, I think he's worth somewhere between 100 and 200 bucks just by himself. So that's a big chunk of the money back right there. Uh, I bought a, a bunch of uh, belt buckles and cigarette lighters and trophy toppers. And these are old trophy toppers. And that guy right there is super heavy. Uh, but some of these, a lot of this stuff I'm getting ready to list. That's why I have it separated out. But uh, um, so by the time this video comes out, a lot of this will be listed. Especially this stuff right here because that's what I'm getting ready to work on. But a bunch of belt buckles. Love selling belt buckles. This St. Christopher uh, cigarette lighter. <sighs> think it's going to be really good i briefly looked it up these car trophy topper uh i'm put i've been putting um trophy toppers and also hood ornaments because i think a lot of people repurpose these things as hood ornaments i mean this guy right here is super heavy a uh, motorcycle a car i love selling these little transistor radios I think this guy right here, Continental 6 Transistor Radio Model TR683. I think it's going to be like really good. And when I say really good, I mean like $100 plus good because it's what little bit I've looked it up. It's super rare. A bunch more belt buckles. Love selling these. Now these belt buckles here are interesting. They are... Oh, Lord, my mind went blank. Accessors, accessors or something. I don't know how you say that, but they are extremely limited. They are limited to 500. You can might be able to see that right there. This is number 242 of 500. So I'm going to price some of this stuff up, and that is the Alabama State. Uh, got a Massachusetts State, Kansas and then these Grateful Dead CDs. This one here is sealed. It's a three inch CD. It's this type of stuff right here is super, super rare. They're kind of like CD singles and it is a, from Japan, I believe. So that one, and then also this one as well, CD3, Grateful Dead. Uh, this one was not sealed, I don't think. And then a bunch more belt buckles that I've just not went through yet or don't have pictures of yet. Some random stuff. 
more cigarette lighters, a bunch more of those state belt buckles with the jewel in it or crystal or whatever you want to call it. I got a bunch of those. Another Zippo lighter in a leather case. I love selling Zippo lighters. Uh, all kinds of belt buckles, just random belt buckles. Um, but I believe between the radio and Marvin the Martian, I believe that's probably $300 to $350 of my money back. So basically, I got about $150 in the rest of this stuff. Uh, here's some more of those with the crystals in it. Uh, that's New York, Hawaii, Nevada, Mississippi, South Carolina. Uh, that's not one, but just another belt buckle, another South Carolina, uh, Texas. I mean, some pretty cool stuff that I need to get on the ball for listing for sure. And then down here in the tub, we've got some stuff that I've just not went through yet. Got a little Smurf toy. That thing is super cool. Just kind of wobbles. Uh, that tie is actually from the last buy. I just got it thrown in. But Beatles sealed uh, VHS. I don't know the value. This Grateful Dead movie VHS. Brand new sealed. Uh, show you something else cool about it in just a second. A cigar, cigar box with a bunch of just smalls in it. Um, Keychains and that kind of stuff. A lot of this may end up going on whatnot. I have no idea, but, you know, some of it may be worth looking up, too. So I know some of that tiki stuff can be really good. This is a tiki stir, and I know some of them have a little bit of uh, value. That is Harvey's Top of the Wheel, I believe. That Yeah, Lake, no uh, Lake Tahoe, Nevada. I don't believe that casino is there anymore, and I believe you call that guy on top there. A uh, freaky tiki, I think it's like his little nickname. So I got all that. Uh, this is another just mixed thing. I thought this was super cool. Let's see these uh, Raiders pins. There's like three or four different ones of them. I, I mean, I know some of this stuff don't have like crazy value, but I thought that was neat. Irwin Dale Raiders. I think he told me a story about they were supposed to meet, uh, move to Irwindale at one time, and they never did, but uh, the Raiders, some of their merch got out for the Irwindale Raiders, so I don't know, I'll have to investigate that, but a bunch of pins, and like I said, some of this stuff will go on whatnot auction, uh, these Mad ball bowls i love selling that uh i have found a few mad balls in my lifetime <laughs> they're extremely hard to find but mad balls is a little soft toy baseball size toy you squeeze it and their eyeballs pop out well these are two two cereal bowls so i don't know how much value they got but they're cool uh these hats auburn hats they were just kind of you know throw them in these old tootsie toys cars i don't know what kind of value they have uh probably like a lot up situation there for sure these coca-cola nascar bottles they have a car inside i'm sure there's very little value there but i thought they were cool maybe another whatnot item i did last time get a bunch of these castle film film strips these cartoon film strips and i logged them all up on ebay and i thought i bought them all last time and we actually when we were digging through his stuff I actually found another one so i did end up with another one of those i uh, got these masters of the universe coloring books brand new don't have a mark in them anywhere uh, I'm going to be tempted to keep that one. <laughs> so I don't know what kind of value it has. It depends on the value, whether I keep it or not. But you guys know I love Masters of the Universe. This amazing Spider-Man coloring book. Same thing with it. Brand new. Zero marks in it. I will sell that one. I love Spider-Man. But not like I do. I'll show you this in a little bit. These old Walt Disney World maps, Walt Disney World, I believe, I think that's just one, Walt Disney World, 
And then these old great, he has a lot of Grateful Dead stuff. Old calendars from 99. This one is uh, 25 years. And I think this is more of a book, yeah. Just like a little program book. Grateful Dead. I don't know how much value those have. Some Jerry Garcia stamps. Um, quite a few of them, actually. Uh, that will probably, I don't know anything about stamps. So that's probably going to be a lot of situation. This Jerry Garcia print. Have no idea. And then I got some program books. Rod Stewart, 1984. The Eagles World Tour, 1994. An Elton John tour from 1979. That's an old one. Another Elton John from 1976. Wow. Look at that shirt with the soccer on it. Wow. That sweater. Eric Clapton World Tour, 2006-2007. And this Grateful Dead poster book, which is pretty cool. And then also a few salt and pepper shakers that is the whale set that's the other one and then also and i've sold these before these are um fiesta wear i have sold those before so i said of those but i want to show you this poster i love this poster it's super cool and it goes with this grateful dead vhs i mean i don't have to sell it with it but i may, may very well sell it with it and i don't know what kind of value this vhs has but this poster that goes with it is super awesome. Monterey Home Video, finally, the live performance of the legendary band, The Grateful Dead Movie, available on video cassette. So I would assume that has some pretty decent value right there. So let me know in the comments how you think I did all of that for 500 bucks. And uh, like I said, I'm going to get listed on it. And I know I paid up on some of it. I do. But, uh, to get good stuff, you got to pay up sometimes. And it kept me from going out picking and driving hundreds of miles for the next few weeks. So, yeah, I'm excited about it. Like I said, I think most of my money back is out of those two items right there. And I'm hoping this has, uh, I'm hoping this has like a hundred dollar value, but I have no idea. But now some of these belt buckles are going to be 40 and 50 dollars a piece i guarantee it so anyways let me know in the comments down below and let's pull some more orders all right next order going out block the wind noise h5 uh dvd that i picked up one of those i didn't look at look it up when i bought it cheap dvd probably wasn't worth selling somebody sent me an offer on it and i took it just to get rid of it that guy right back there silent hill widescreen version brand new sealed i ended up taking a best offer on it for two bucks plus shipping glad to get rid of it all right next items tri-state train shelf so i sure do appreciate it tri-state trains and i sold some more of these fat quarter clubs i've uh, been selling a bunch of them i got a few more going out so of course these are some that Kathy gave me and a buyer came in and bought three more sets and uh, I don't think they're a viewer. I don't think. Could be, but if you are Carrie, thank you very much. I sure do appreciate it. The first one going out is Halloween Whimsy. Let's see, it is this one. I took a best offer on it for 17 bucks plus shipping. The other ones are Be Mine. Yes, Be Mine. January of 2023 is a subscription service. Then one, this one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And also Flirt, which is February of 2022. And this one I took a best offer on it for $20 plus shipping. So all three of those to the same buyer. I hope I can get these in some kind of flat rate envelope. But I will definitely combine the shipping and send the buyer a shipping discount. So these are some that Kathy sent me, by the way. So thank you again, Kathy. I knew they would sell. I just had to get them at the right price, get them set at the right price. So 20, basically 20 bucks 
for two of them and 17 for the third one. So good, good deal. Thank you again, Kathy. All right, next item, J4. Let's see here, J4 over here. J4, Ollie's treasure chest shelf. So thank you very much, Ollie. I sure do appreciate it. And that is our good friend, Bobby. So Bobby, I thank you so much. And some action figure accessories. These guys right here. I thought these would be worth a little more than what I actually sold them for because, and they probably are, I don't know. It's just, they're not in great condition. They're in good condition, but it is, they're pretty rare. Supernaturals, ghosting, ghost sling, sword accessories from Tonka, Supernatural toy line. Uh, this one has, I don't know, a little bit of a chew mark there, missing the bottom of it. But that pack of two swords, I did end up taking a best offer on for seven bucks plus shipping. Glad to get these out of here. All right, next item I won. Uh, quite a few cheap sales today going out. I won, let's see, it's one of these audio books. I think it's gonna be this one right here, The Civil War by Kim Burns. Uh, these are audio book, cassette audio books. And most of these were given to me. I uh, did buy a box a year or so ago, a big box that had a bunch in it. I've sold a bunch of them though. I uh, thought this one was new sealed, but it's not, it's been opened. But anyways, it's in great condition, $7.99 plus shipping. As I was saying, I, bit, I did buy a box of these about a year or so ago, sold a bunch of them, but also my, my my mom and my brother gave me a bunch of them not too long ago but i think this is one that came in the box about i believe so eight bucks plus shipping glad to get this going as well all right next item c20 let's see what book is it mercedes benz one of these repair manuals mercedes benz it's gonna be this guy right here it's not on a sponsored shelf but we will talk about our good friends over at the Hillbilly Butler. And that is our good friend, Wendy. So thank you, Wendy. I sure do appreciate you, the Hillbilly Butler. Go check out her eBay store. I love that name, the Hillbilly Butler. Uh, Mercedes Benz 350 and 450. Uh, Haynes repair manual, 1971 through 1980 Mercedes Benz. Who's still driving a 1971 through 1980 Mercedes-Benz? I guess apparently somebody. Anyways, this one pretty decent for a repair manual. So for $14.99 plus shipping. I love selling these, but uh, they're getting tougher and tougher to find. I think the word's out on these guys. So 15 bucks plus shipping. All right, next item, L7, L7. Golf club, yay. Glad to sell a golf club. Always glad to sell golf clubs. Love selling these guys. Callaway Big Bertha Warbird. I know I have sold this golf club probably two or three times. <laughs> Callaway Big Bertha S2 H2 5 wood Warbird, 42 inches right hand. This one I did take a best offer on it. 15 bucks plus shipping. Love selling golf clubs. And the last order 034. Let's see one of these stamping up sets. Uh, All ye faithful. One of these I got from the church sale. Uh, yeah, that one. All ye faithful. Very cute. Five piece rubber stamp set. About the nativity scene, right? All ye faithful. It's got the wise man, Mary and Joseph and Jesus. And then it's got some sayings. So pretty cool. This one's a decent one. It sold for 11 99 plus shipping good deal all right that's going to be it for this video i sure do appreciate each and every one watching and listening thank you guys so much for all the love and support i remember to go check out all my links down below remember to go check out two old guys reselling podcast i sure would appreciate it myself and caleb from the old pass would appreciate it thank you guys once again love you all old school picker out